Hello friends, my name is Karen Kane, spiritual practitioner, founder of Believe in Humans, Buddha Yoga instructor, transformation coach, mom, daughter, friend, sister, recovering alcoholic, sober, five plus years. Yeah, so huh, just only a little over five years ago, I wasn't any of those things. I was a drunk, selfish, self-centered, drunk. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about <laughs> being so selfish and so attached to the way that I wanted things. Can any of you relate to, you're about to do something, you have expectations about the way that you wanna want it to play out, or you wanna have this happen, or this meal, or this seat, or whatever it is, and it doesn't happen. What do you do? Are you able to, just easily brush it off, go with the flow, know that everything happens for a reason, for our greatest and highest good, and just enjoy that moment, because guess what? First of all, we only have a now moment, right now, right now. Well, I used to ruin the now moment. Why? Because I had expectations and attachments to an outcome that I would never have any power over. So we have never, we don't have control over anything. That's the truth. That is the truth. There is no way that we can control the future because we only have right now. So right now, is anything bothering you? Nah, hopefully not. In this, right this second, right this second. So I am reading this great book. I'll just share it with you. Clarity and Connection by Jan Pueblo. And we've been reading it in my group coaching, inner circle group. And um, <laughs> sometimes it makes me laugh because I can relate to a lot of what he's saying and how I can relate to patterns that I grew up with, then I took with me and, and now that I've done work, I'm being aware of certain situations and the way that I am, things that don't serve me. For example, the patterns of me being attached or have expectations. Because when you have expectations, <laughs> you're gonna be let down. And we can't control anything. We can control ourselves. So when we don't have expectations, we can just, we're able to shift into awareness and go with the flow and not ruin a nice time. You know, I used to just ruin, ruin occasions. And then to top it off, then I would drink and I'd become a real asshole. So on top of, being grumpy, selfish, all about me, ruining the moment, gotta change this, couldn't have fun in that moment, couldn't shift the energy into gratitude. I just let it be become all about me. Ooh, my moment is ruined. <laughs> 
Yeah, I was such an asshole. Such an asshole. The cool thing is, is now, I have awareness because what I do know is anytime I get an un uncomfortable feeling inside of me, I know it's all about me. In other words, it's my shit. And I have to work on it. And I have to figure it out. Because I called it into my life. I attracted the situation to learn, to grow. And when I become aware, or you become aware of a situation or a pattern or something from your past that maybe you, your, your parents did, and then you carried that on. And if it doesn't serve you anymore, how do you break the pattern? Are you willing to break the pattern? Break it. If it doesn't serve you, change it. Change the story. You guys ever hear that? Change the story. Because when you change the story, then you're, you're not following that pattern that doesn't serve you anymore. And you're creating a new story, a new pattern that you're able to shift and be uh, more present, more mindful, being more aware of that moment. So yeah, letting go. The consciousness and awareness of letting go of any attachment or any expectation. Then you can just go and have fun and be in the moment and enjoy and be grateful for what you have right here, right now. Which is why, friends, I'm so grateful that you're here right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So do me a favor if you like this video like it, thumbs up, subscribe, follow. There's more to come. So much more. And believe in humans. We are going through a renovation, restructuring, recreating. Because you know what? It's all about you. Yep. It's all about you. And you and you and you and you. I love you humans. I'll see you soon. Thank you for being here. Much love. Namaste.